Good morning everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be modeling a bottle in Blender. Now uh, you can see I have Photoshop open here and that's because I'm going to once again try and switch things up a little bit. Um, I'm going to cut this off at 10 minutes and then um, if it goes longer and we'll just cut these into parts, into 10 minute parts. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've got my my scene files here and I'm actually gonna start off in Photoshop uh, like we said and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my image now this is a bottle of coffee that I got the other day um, and as you can see there's a lot going on in the background this I just actually took this this morning um, I bought the bottle a couple days ago but anyway I wanna prepare this image um, it's a reference image and so I want it to be able to, I want to be able to use it um, so anyway let's go ahead and do that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click I'm going to double click my background and just hit OK I'm not really worried about the layer names uh, I'm going to convert it to a smart object and then I can go into filter and camera raw filter or I can just hit control shift A and that will open up my camera raw filter and give it a second it's working on it all right now the reason I'm doing that is because I want this tool the transform tool um, there are other tools that do these kinds of, of jobs in Photoshop I just have the best experience with this one tool and I'm gonna just t drag a line pardon me uh, from from um, that point down and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm straightening out these edges you can see that they're not a hundred percent parallel they're 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 um, what's that called they taper and that's because of some lens distortion so I'm gonna do that and now if I hit control and zero you can see how distorted that was um, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to kind of throw this across there a little bit, pull that out, and throw this across there a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's alright. Um, and now, the only thing I, I'm going to do now is hit Control T, oops, V, pardon me, now Control T. Um, and I'm just going to rotate this just a smidgen. Click OK. I'm going to reapply the filter. And then I'm just going to um, enlarge that there. Alright, now the only other thing that I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to erase the background. So I'm going to hit Control J and then right click and go to Rasterize Layer. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because all with this smart filter, it's just going to make it difficult. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Shift N, add a new layer above um, above my my bottom layer there. Hit G and just add white. So now I have a white background. Um, now I'm going to hit L, and there's tools in Photoshop that are good for this kind of thing um, but I don't need it to be fancy and I don't need it to take a long time and this background is fairly complicated so for the computer to extract this bottle from the background may be a little difficult so it's easier for me to just zoom in with the pen tool, spend three minutes. I have a feather of one on this pen tool just to help with the anti -alias, alias aliasing. I believe that's how it's said. Some of these terms, everybody says them differently. So 
So the reason I'm the, removing the background is not necessary. Um, if I feel like I can reasonably see what my shape is, then I would not need to remove the background. The only reason I'm doing it here is to give you guys a sense of how you should prep your image. If it's at all possible to have a, just a, a flat color background, like a gray of a wall or something like that on your background. Okay, now that I've got this, I'm gonna select my layer. And I'm gonna hit the mask tool. And now I'm just left with my bottle. You can see that, you know, this down here, there's, it's not very clean. But that's okay. Um, so anyway, now I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna uh, say file, save as. Let's uh, save this in our reference images. And I'm just gonna say this, save this as um, bottle underscore reference. Save. And then one more time, save as, and I'm just going to change that to a JPEG image, and that's all good. Okay. So, um, I, I'm actually going to end this here. This is a good ending spot. Um, that's how you should prepare your reference image. You want to be able to see the shape of your object so that when you go in to model it, it's easier. So if you're taking a reference image photo, um, it's best to see if you can get like the white of a wall or the gray of a wall, just uh, not a complicated background. If you can't do that, then I suggest doing this, which is going in in Photoshop and removing a background, uh, as well as any lens distortion, because any lens distortion is just going to make it harder for you when you're modeling. So in the next tutorial, we'll start modeling this bottle, um, and there's a couple different ways we can go about it. but. Um, you know, I think it'll be interesting to see which way we pick. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye.